Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris from Full Throttle Repair Shop. And Rowan from Epic Upstate. And today we're going to be testing a couple different fuel treatments. Now, we watched a couple different um, YouTube videos and they did their own reviews on it. One was from K100 themselves and another was from another YouTuber. Now, when we watched those reviews, we found some funny business. Pretty much, they used a ratio that's half gas and half fuel treatment. And when you're treating your car or whatever you're putting it in, you're not going to use a 50-50 ratio. So, we're going to mix it up just like it says on the bottle and see the real result because that's the way it's going to be in your fuel tank it's not going to be at a 50 50 ratio like they did in the video so in the other reviews they pretty much tested it against the startron and the red stable and both of those products don't advertise as re being able to remove water from fuel so i'm not sure why they tested it against it because we already know it's not going to remove the water from the fuel if it did they'd say it on the bottle so pretty much on all of those reviews they use products that don't remove water from fuel to test against the k100 that removes water from fuel that's what it's made for it also stabilizes the fuel so by testing the k100 against other fuel products like this it's pretty much a fake test because I already know this isn't going to remove water from fuel because that's not what it's for it's for stabilizing fuel the same can go with the red STP or the red stable it's for stabilizing fuel not removing water okay now for this test we have a hundred milliliters of gas in each one of these beakers and now we're going to be putting um, one milliliter of each one of these products into the hundred milliliters of fuel and that's going to represent um, your one ounce per gallon ratio so we can get an accurate test now on the other tests they filled it up about halfway with fuel then halfway with treatment and that's not the way you're going to be putting it in your vehicle or anything that takes the gas so we're not going to test it that way so pretty much this would be representing the fuel that's treated in your vehicle Crack this open. open. It's childproof. Yeah. And you can see it is fresh. It's brand new. So this is it's not set up or anything. Let's take actually. This is the water one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you just gotta fill it up to that line there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Dump it in. There we go. Okay, put that to the side. Now we're gonna do the heat. We're using different um different eye droppers so that we know we're not getting them mixed up. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Here's that one. The STP unopened. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think this will be way too STP makes the best labels. <laughs> there you go. Right there. Okay. So we have all three treatments done. Okay, so now we have all the fuel treated. And pretty much we went by the um, one ounce per gallon ratio that came out to be about three quarters of a milliliter we're going to round it up to one milliliter to give them the benefit of the doubt now that we have the right amount of fuel and treatment and each thing mixed together we can add about five milliliters of water in each thing and see what happens so we're pretty much going to put the water in stir it up and then we're going to look at these up close and see if the water separates or infuses with the gasoline we're going to see what happens All right, exactly five milliliters of water going into the k100 mixture mm. <laughs> that infused pretty good alright now we're going to put it in the heat let's see what happens exactly five milliliters going into the heat mixture That, that didn't mix as well as the K100 did, really. All right, now, do the same thing for the last it's one. Kind of, you can kind of see it settling at the bottom a little. Exactly, five liters going in the STM. 
STP. Oh, STP, not M. Get it all in there. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have five milliliters of water in each one of these fuel treatment um, mixtures. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stir these up, and then we're going to do a comparison to see um, what the water looks like in the fuel and which one absorbed the most water. So everyone's going to stir these up gently. All right, they're all mixed up now. I'm gonna bring them in a little bit closer so you can get a first-hand look and see what these look like. Here we have the K100, and you can actually see there's still a, uh, a bubble of water there at the bottom of the beaker. Here we have the heat treatment, and that's pretty much the same. There's still a big bubble of water at the bottom of it. It didn't take in all the water either. And what we have here is the STP and that still has a bubble of water at the bottom so that also did not suck up all the water and what we're going to do now is we're going to add more fuel treatment to these um, fuel mixtures until the water's gone um, so pretty much we're going to give it another dose and see if it sucks the water up all right now Rowan's going to add the fuel treatment and we're going to take note of it so Rowan's going to put in um, one milliliter at a time until we see the water go away so Rowan you can start off um, K100. Okay, perfect. Right. Perfect. One milliliter. Okay. Okay, that's one milliliter added. So, I'll there you go. Okay, another milliliter. Added. Still got water in it. Keep going. Okay. So now we're up to, this is going to be three, three milliliters. Another milliliter added. Let's see? So we have four milliliters in here already. Not looking too good. I can still see water. Add more. Okay. Five milliliters added. Okay. Six milliliters. Okay. It's a perfect another ounce. That is eight. Right there. Right. Good. Okay, so there are ten milliliters in there. Okay, so let's just do ten of each one now. So put this to the side. Okay. Just do ten and ten. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that's ten. Yep. Okay, so we put Ooh, a little bit jumped out there. Ten milliliters right. in there. You gotta mix it up. This one is still clear at 10 milliliters. Yeah, that's the guy. Okay. Okay, now they also have the standing water in there, so Rowan's gonna put 10 more milliliters of each treatment each in this gasoline, and we're gonna see if that'll do it. Wait. Good. Okay. 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 Yeah. Good. Okay, that's perfect for the middle Go. one. Okay. Going in the weaker. Okay. So this is the STP right here, and you can see we put a small rope under it to hold this side up. So you can see the bubble right there. It's not really much of a bubble, but it's still noticeably large. Let's move on to the next one. So you can see we have the same thing here with the heat. We have a small rope under it to hold it up. And this bubble is noticeably larger than the STP. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is the K100, same setup, the small rope, and this one is actually a little bit smaller than the heat, but a little bit larger than the STP, so I'd say this comes number two. Well, as you guys saw in the close-ups, we have a clear winner. The STP definitely came in first place, second place was the K100, and third place was the heat. Um, after letting these sit for about a half an hour longer, 
um, the heat definitely drops some more water out of the fuel. Um, the STP definitely stayed the same, and also the K100 pretty much stayed the same. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe.